Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to be touching base on something that I'm not too familiar with. As you can see this particular box, it is called The Fiend. It is from the punk band, The Misfits or Misfits. I haven't listened to any of their music, maybe I need to go ahead and do that because I did like a little bit of punk music back in the 80s and some new wave, but I also like my heavy metal and everything. I'm big into that. Uh, but anyway, this particular character really stood out because it has a Grim Reaper feel to him. And I believe this is more or less a mascot to the band. And I was under the impression that it might have been from a movie. So I went and did some research and what movie is this from? And it was a little chaotic, but I found out that it's actually from the band itself. It's an actual mascot. But it does have a very Grim Reaper feel, that a skeleton feel about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out the box art. Then we're going to get into the figure, and hopefully it ain't going to be too much of a struggle to pull out of its box, because NECA loves to tie those damn things in real good. Alright, so let's just go ahead and touch base on the actual box art. Now, I actually got this from um, Target for a reasonable price, but you don't pay for shipping and handling, but here's the thing about that. They kind of have a tendency to actually uh, plug in the shipping and handling into the price. So it is a little bit more pricier in some aspects. But if you go online, obviously they're going to be more expensive because of the shipping and handling. Okay, that's what he's called right there, baby. The Ultimate Fiend Action Figure. It's got a very cool looking box art. Black and white. You can't go wrong with those colors. Alright. Alright. The Misfits. It's based off of the band. Uh, we'll have to turn that around. There we go. Very cool looking. All right, and it is from NECA. Back of the art. And there you go, guys. So now what I'm going to do, oh, let me open this up so you can see it inside. And that's what she looks like. She's got a candelabra and everything. And that's what she looks like inside the package. It's got a decent amount of accessories, okay? It's got different hands and the actual tombstone. And there's your candelabra. And different facial features if you want to use them. Okay, so we're going to get into that right now, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the video down, pull the damn things out of the box, and then we'll get into it, okay? Be right back. Now, I'm not sure, but I think I didn't record the damn thing because I just pushed it, and I just noticed that the, the red came on, which tells you it's recording. So all that time that I was talking, I was like, did I record that? So I'm going to do it again just to be on the safe side. Okay, the fiend, okay? The actual head does move back and forth. Now, I will tell you this. I am going to switch out the uh, hands and put the different hands on it because I and I'm also going to put this particular skull on it okay and I'm going to switch out the heads now it's obvious we're going to have to get into this here in a little bit I'm going to show you the accessories and then we're going to get right into this just in case I didn't record the damn thing because I'm not really sure but this is really cool looking I like the color scheme of it All right. Okay, it's your typical head, okay. Get in there close. Okay. Alright, now it does come with the two hands. <clears throat> as you can see, I'm going to switch them out for the candelabra. As well as the uh, daggers, okay. Now there's two hands that comes with it. And that's your candelabra right there. Okay, so let me just kind of pull that back a bit. Now, you don't have to actually put it in his hand. You can actually uh, leave him right there by the stand on the bottom. But, obviously, you would have to glue it in or hopefully it doesn't fall over on you. Okay, that's the candelabra. Okay, now, the other skull that it comes with is this one here. This has got a really nice look about it, too. It's like he's grinding his teeth. It's 
nicely detailed too. Again, you can pop it right in there, no problem. We're going to be doing all that switching out, okay? All right, so with that in mind, let's get these out of the way. I'm going to show you the daggers. Because right, I thought I recorded the damn thing. That's crazy. Okay, here are your daggers. Okay. Enough about that. Let's get into the actual tombstone, and then we're going to get into the album covers. It actually comes with album covers, which I thought was really cool. As you can see, it's, it's your typical tombstone. Hang on for a second, anyway. Catch the light, right? Okay, never mind. Anyway, oh, that's your tombstone. The Misfits, punk band. Okay, now the album covers. Let's get into these bad boys. It comes with three of them. This one's kind of busy. All right, next one. The Misfits. Kind of reminds me of the Romantics in a way. Not sound-wise, but the way their album covers can be. You know, it's like, it really stands out. Kind of reminds me of that. The Misfits. The Misfits. And there you go, guys. That's pretty cool. Alright. Enough about that. Let's get into the figure. Alright. Now, I pulled the... the um, cloak down and the hood so you can see the skull all right now it does come with the actual cloak or something and it only just seems to drape the the, the, the top half of the uh, figure because the rest of it's a gown okay but like I said I'm going to switch out the hands sorry about bumping the camera I'm going to switch out the skull too so we're going to see what it looks like but this here, you can actually pop it up, like so. And it gives it a spawn look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, oh! But it is like a, like a gown. Now, it's got a bunch of bendy wires in it, as well as up in the top here, as you can see, okay? In the back of it, it's got bendy wires. You can shape this so it looks good, okay? Same with the bottom of it, okay. Bendy, I keep bumping the damn camera, okay. Alright, and that's pretty much the cloak, okay. Now up and underneath the arms, as you can see, it's got some detail to it, okay. And now articulation-wise, the arms do move, okay. So do the elbows, okay, but they're tough, okay. And obviously the wrists, okay. Same with the legs, okay. Okay, now you can see that the actual figure in itself is not really detailed. It's more like just a plastic doll. So that's the kind of detail, with the exceptions of the boots, okay. Okay, now, the hips do move, as you can see, okay. So do the knees, okay. All right, see. And the actual feet do rotate a little bit. And they move up and down a little bit. They got a little pivot to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to reshape this. And I'm going to switch everything out. And I will be right back to show you the end result. Okay, we're back with the end result. Hang on for a second here. Okay, there we go. Sometimes I got to play with these damn things. Okay. And that's what she looks like with the skull. And the candelabra along with the dagger, okay? I think it looks rather cool in my opinion. But I've always liked Grim Reaper type thing, uh, things anyway. I think they're really cool. They're the coolest aspects about Halloween. That and pumpkins, bats and all that crazy stuff. But when it comes to creepy figures and stuff, the Grim Reaper is the most menacing in my, in my opinion. But anyway, this one's called The Fiend, okay? I think they have a different variant of The Fiend. It's all red. I didn't want to pick that one up because I wanted to stick to the traditional. But the candelabra, 
and the tomb tombstone really does stand out when it comes to this particular figure. Anyway, we're going to end this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you definitely want to see some more videos because I'm going to be pushing out some more. But then I'll go through another dry spell once the uh, stepdad comes back because obviously I can't do none when he's here. So, uh, But eventually I, I will get some more stuff in. I did, in fact, I forgot to mention this in my other videos. I got five t-shirts, a bunch of them from um, Return of the Living Dead. I might have to do a video on all my t-shirts because I've got over 20 of them now. And I got a, uh, one from Ch uh, you know, Chucky from Child's Play. And that's pretty much, yeah, I'm going to show you all those in one, in one video. But yeah, that, that's a future video. But anyway, I did get a bunch of those in. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the very next video. Because I am now going to concentrate on Nosferatu. You guys have a good day.